Hey, good day, cellmates. Um, it's Julie Cube, Acrylic Arts, and I'm pouring from Queensland, Australia. Those that uh, haven't seen my channel before, I'm going to try, I have tried many times, the strainer pour. I've got this odd looking little strainer that I'm going to pour. I'm not sure whether I should load my colours into um, this container or just pour them randomly. So I have a think about that, but in the meantime, just getting my, these are just the dishwashing gloves, so I've been using them and using them so far, instead of um, using my disposable gloves every single time. So just save a little bit um, for the, just, just trying to do a little bit, you know, rather than go through so many gloves and, you know, trying to do a little bit to help the environment, but um, just try your best, that's all. So I've got my colours made up. I mean, I've got, I'm not saying that I'll use all of these. I've got some that were left over from other pores, but um, they're mostly the Montmartre Studio Acrylics, uh, what I use. So um, the Studio Acrylics are definitely available in the US. They're really nice, thick and creamy. Um, and they're highly pigmented, um, so they're, they've been a brilliant paint. Um, I know they're available in Australia, and they're definitely available in the US. I think somebody put up an Amazon or an eBay link. But if you're in Australia, there's the online supplier that I buy from. It's in the drop-down box, which has everything that I use. I have put the tape the masking tape on the bottom of my canvas um, keep the bottom clean and I've got my nice giant push pins on the bottom there too so I think we'll get started we'll get started yeah I've got I can hear my um, my husband's taken my dog down the um, paddock because we're on properties and I can hear her barking and barking away so I'm just wondering what's going on so if you get my husband turn up in the middle of this pour, um, don't be surprised. This is not sitting nice and flat, probably because of that bobbly bit. Maybe I can, oh, there you go. I've removed it, just pulled it out. So I'm just gonna sit that there and I'm just gonna see what happens. Okay, this was, what I put in this particular one was the um, pearl white and then I added some of the uh, green deep uh, just until I got this nice sort of, it's a lovely like pearly green color. It's beautiful. I'm really liking it. So I'll just see how we go. If I can fucking create anything that pours out of these holes. See what happens. I haven't used, I don't think I've done one with this particular strainer so I might pour some of the this is the green light um, I've used my normal pouring medium that I use which is the Elmer's glue and 70% uh, Elmer's glue 30% water 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 um, and I pre-mix it up in the four litre container so I've got it all made up. If you want my pouring recipe it's in the drop down box also I'll put that there and you can um, my recipes there and how I make up my paints and the Helmar silicon that I add to the paints it's all the hey 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 I've just got to let my dog out now because he's Oh my goodness, dogs, kids, husbands, it's all going on. All right, I'm just hoping this doesn't end up one big muddy mess, but you can but try, can but try. 
so I'm just hoping that something nice comes of it if not I will figure it all out <laughs> and try and make something nice of it I'll put in some of the pearl white see how we go so that was I put in the brilliant red I've put in my purple and this is the white pearl white so it's kind of I'm not sure if it's really doing anything under there but just I've got a little bit of gold left so I'm just gonna throw that in the mix and see what that get rid of it because it was just left from a pour but might create something stunning uh, what's nice with the gold red I mean it might not come out that way but give it a go okay I just want to thank like you guys that have been uh, following me since I started which wasn't I think I only started doing the uh, YouTube videos about five or six months ago but really only consistently about four months ago um, so the people that have followed me I'm just uh, Anna and all you guys that have subscribed really really thankful and I have 99% positive feedback which is absolutely brilliant I'm so grateful for you guys um, and if you haven't subscribed please do so I'm very appreciative and, and happy that you're coming on this art journey with me so that was the brilliant red and the purple again I will go oh, it's all coming out there pretty good We'll go back to that lovely green and just hope that it doesn't go to mud with the purple and red but hopefully if I don't muck it around too much I should be pretty good okay and go back to this pearl white something must be happening down in the paddocks there must be a loose cow or kangaroos because the dogs are all going off on the property so that's usually telling you something's happening usually when the cows get out the dogs all go off I have got an Australian Shepherd um, Bindi or Bingles as my friend Jill fondly uh, named her and she's yeah wants to go out and herd all the cows and herd the kangaroos which obviously they won't they won't be in that Ooh, this is a crazy effect isn't it pretty pretty uh, I've got any more really gonna throw this in mix I've got this bright yellow now which I haven't added yet but I'm just praying to the pouring gods please don't go big muddy mess so probably put way too much paint on there haven't I so we'll just see because I'm going to have to tilt that around spread it spread it this was a silicone a silicone sink strainer that I just got from it's in, in Australia it was called spotlight store it's like where they sell all kinds of craft and homewares so I think you can get or you can buy them from the discount shops okay I'd oh. I don't know whether to lift that or let it run out slowly on its own um, it's all new to me with this particular little gadget so I know I did try one with the sink strainer and I think I lifted it too early whereas that the paint is dra draining out nice and slowly so just Okay, bear with me people wow, 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 wow. just over there okay it did go a bit 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 uh, mixed in the center but hopefully now I've got to tilt it. I've just got this uh, little bit of plastic 
disposable well it's a plastic tablecloth oh, there you go polyurethane backing it's like one we use on the barbecue table so it was um, I've just cut a piece off to use to catch the drips um, because they will dry and I can peel them off from there this is kind of creating a really weird looking thing isn't it oh, sorry about the dogs barking but occupational hazard when you live on a farm <laughs> not actually farming anything so I know people ask oh you live on a property and what are you farming uh, we did used to have cows but we don't any longer they were just um, it was just more of a headache with the cows because they were challenging getting out and we were having calls all the time that your cows are on the road or they and you know it's just too stressful even though we've got really good fences so oh look at these colors just popping 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 so I'm just recentering it but oh my goodness this is multicolor tech technicolor what's that coat tech oh uh so and so's technicolor so and so coat <laughs> i can't even think of it oh my god crazy lady look at these colors though wow we and they haven't gone too muddy except for the ones in the center so i should have lifted the um, little pot sooner. I might actually recenter this and, and tip off that messy bit. I'll try and get this end covered down this end. Yeah. Certainly um, different than my paws, but that's what I you know strive for all the time is experimenting to do something that's you know different for me it might not be different for anybody else they may do this kind of thing but it's a little bit different from me um, and like I say to you all the time it's all been done before and I'm sure it will be all done again oh, and they're getting left with this messy bit that I don't like love these bits so when you get left with the messy bit in the center, it is pretty hard to get rid of that without losing all your nice bits. So my mistake of leaving the strainer on there a little bit too long, I believe. If I pour that off now, it's gonna completely not look good. So I absolutely love all of this and don't like this, but I'm thinking that after that's dried off a little bit I could either embellish it with the balloon um, in here with a roll or something so that is a booger a booger I don't know what it is it looks like a dead fly actually but yeah not liking this bit absolutely loving this creation here really do like that okay think 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 i think i will leave this for a little while now to settle and self level and i will come back and i will try and fix up this area for sure uh, I'll just try while you're with me this little I'm only using this little balloon but I believe it needs a nice big balloon in, in there and a roll or something see that's just showing you way too much paint in that area to work with and I wish there was a way I could get rid of a bit of that but I don't want to tilt it so I'm at the dilemma dilemma Emma the dilemma uh, stage I'm gonna leave it and see if it dries and then I'll come back and try and embellish it so and then I'll see what you guys think but it looks like we're heading for a big old storm here so I'm hoping that um, 
when I come back it's not thunder lightning and carrying on but look at this guys it is so vibrant and alive it's really quite exciting except for that middle bit of stuff on the canvas looks like a death on the canvas it's a little bit um, I'm not going to torch this if I torch that I reckon that will just all sell up and then I'll get lots of comments like oh why did you do that so I'm not going to do it and I'll be back in a few seconds okay guys it's been left for about uh, 25 minutes now and it, the colors are absolutely popping out jumping out of that canvas they're so bright and vibrant I love it as you can see cells started to come up because I did my normal mix of the 70% Elmer's glue all and water with uh, two drops of my Helmar silicon so obviously if I hadn't have put any of my glue mix and silicon maybe I wouldn't have got so many cells but the cells started to come up but I didn't encourage them anywhere else but in that centerpiece that I didn't like which I said to you I was waiting to embellish so what I've done is I just torched in the very center that you see and what it's created is like a valley full of gems I'm going to call it my bag full or valley full or stash Oh, I'm sure you guys will give me a name but it looks like there's gems down in the bottom of a beautiful coloured valley is that my crazy imagination or <laughs> could be so you guys give me your thoughts on it and um, yet yeah, interesting to know if uh, what you thought about this particular crazy strain a poor of mine um, only nice comments please I don't want any negativity um, it upsets everybody so um, positive criticism positive no positive um, comments please but yeah it is so vibrant and so gorgeous I'll post some photos and also if any of you don't know that I've got an art acrylic art by Julie Koo Facebook page where I post lots of extra things as well and where I buy products from and source if I've found anything I'll let you know so if you'd like to join me over on that there's a link in the below the little V at the bottom of your um, screen there's a V and if you that's called the drop down box if you press that it will have my pouring medium information about this and it will have a link to the online store that I get my art from and my art supplies from but look at that that looks like a bag full of gems okay guys thanks for joining me until next time thanks so much bye